Hi, so let's have a, cont- a continuation ng discussion natin last week. So if you could still remember, so I have already uh, gave yung lab exercise natin before for yung last week. Now try natin siyang isimulate ngayon. So this will serve as a practice tong simulation natin. Actually, uh, we have here yung problem na binigay ko sa inyo last time. So ayan. Now, uh, simply, kung check natin yung output dito, so ganito lang siya. Pattern lang siya. Uh, some of you got confused dun sa given natin. So, ito kasing space na to, or white space, is for us to print yung value lang dito one space after para hindi siya dikit-dikit. So, yun lang yung specifically yung purpose nun. So, now, subukan natin siyang simulate. So, check natin uh, kung paano yung magiging flow. Okay? Okay, so, but first, let us interpret muna yung code natin. Okay, so, ang pinaka sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi last time is you need to know yung scope ng code. Okay? So, paano natin malalaman yung range? Okay? So, kung makikita natin dito, so, yan. This will be our outer loop. Okay, so, kung naalala nyo pa yung outer loop natin, so, siya yung nagsaset gano'ng karaming row yung uh, mag-display. So, as we can see here, so, we have here uh, 1 to 5. So, technically, we could sp- expect na meron tayong limang row na mapoproduce dito. So, as we can see with the output, so, lima yung row na meron siya. Now, click natin yung uh, curly brace. So, yan. So, ibig sabihin, once na mag-true yung statement mo dito, so, yung naka-yellow na line na yan, so, ito yung ipa-perform niya. Okay? So, yung buong yan. Now, Sa loob niya, mayroong dalawang part. Okay. So, yung una, ito para sa if na ito. And then, yung pangalawa para sa another if. Okay. So, huwag kayong malilito kasi yung dalawang yan is nagperperform sila na magkahiwalay. Okay. So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na uh, once na mag dito sa isang to, didiretso yun dito. So, hindi. Kasi nga, kumukha ng sinabi ko kanina is magkahiwalay sila ng scope. Kasi pag chinect natin dito yung range niya, so yan, ibig sabihin yung if na to, ang i-perform niya lang is hanggang dito. Okay? And then also, pag chinect natin itong part na to, ayan, yung scope niya is para dito lang. Okay? So, let us check paano yung magiging simulation yung flow nito. Okay? So, start tayo. Okay, so first naman, encounter natin na variable. So, we have i. So, sulat na natin dito si i. Okay, so initial value ni i is 3. Okay, so we have here 3. Now, next one. So, we have our, our outer loop. Okay, so we have a. So, i-center muna natin to. Okay, so we have a. Yung initial value niya is equivalent to 1 also. And then after that, so we have our condition. So, ito. If A is less than 5, less than equal 5, and then, subukan natin. So, test na natin. So, we have 1. So, initial value of A. So, is A less than or equal to 5? So, technically, this one is true. Okay? So, once na true yung condition, so again, papasok tayo dito sa loob. Okay? So, first na may encounter itong if na ito. Okay? So, itest natin siya. So, lagi natin if Ah, sorry. So, we have if a less than equal to. So, yan. Next one. So, we have here uh, a condition again. Okay? So, subukan natin. Current value na is still 1. So, test natin is 1 less than equal to. Okay? So, in this case, 1 is less than equal to which is true. And with that, so, papasok tayo dito sa condition niya. Okay? So, pasok tayo sa loob, may encounter na tong if na condition. Okay? So, uh, rather, may encounter na tong isang for loop sa loob. Okay? So, we have here B. Okay? So, initial value ni B is 1. Okay? So, after that, check natin yung condition. Is B less than equal to A? Okay? So, check natin. So, current value ni B is 1. So, 
less than equal current value in A, which is 1 then. Okay, so 1 equal 1, so that will be true. Okay, so dahil true yung condition, so this will perform this. Okay, so we have to, dito na lang natin lagay. Okay, so we have our output. So we have B. So current value in B is 1. So yan. And then piprint lang natin si 1. And then yung space, i-represent ka lang siya ng underscore. So para hindi tayo malito. Okay, so underscore na lang siya. So, this will be our first output. Next, yung B natin will have an increment. Okay, so we have 2. Tapos uli natin is 2 uh, less than equal to A. Okay, which is currently 1 pa din yan. So, dahil 2 is greater than 1, so this will be false. So, stop yung condition natin. And then after that, so, yung A natin is magi increment siya. Okay? So, we'll be having an increment. And then, this will be 2. Okay? So, 2 na yung A natin. So, again, test uli natin. It's 2 less than equal 5. Which is, again, this will be true. Pasok ulit tayo with the condition. So, 2 less than equal to 2 and then it's in this case they're equal so true pa din and then after that so pasok ulit tayo dito sa loob so ayan so we have here b so again dahil like false na to start na yung b natin sa 1 so we have 1 whereas that will be the current value of b so less than equal current value ng a is equivalent to 2 so this will be 2 na i1 okay, less than 2 this will be true. Dahil true yung condition, again, print natin yung current value ni B, which is 1. Okay, so we have 1, and then followed by a space. Okay, so we'll be having an increment, so magiging 2 si B. Ayan. So 2 less than equal to, so this will be true again. Okay. So after that, so print natin si B. So dito na lang. So we have 2. And then followed by underscore. So, but na natin dito print yung another value which is 2. Kasi kung makikita agad natin, i-take note natin dito. Ayan. So, we have here a print. Okay. So, nakalimutan ko pa lang sabihin kanina. Uh, hindi natin na-perform ito. So, before tayo nag-increment for A, supposed to be, we'll be having a new line. So, kaya dito, kung makikita nyo, binaba natin yung printing for this. Kasi, nag-new line tayo after mag-false nitong B na to. So, pakita ko di mamaya kung paano mangyayari. Okay? So, in this case, so, we'll be having 3 for B and then 3 less than equal to 2 which is yung current value ni A. So, this will be false. Okay? So, dahil false yung condition, so, again, so, ayan, stop na yung condition natin for this. Hindi yung pupunta dito kasi ito na yung pinoform niyang if. Okay? So, in this case, mag-new line ulit tayo. Yung cursor natin, bababa. Okay? So, bababa yan dito mamaya pag print natin yung next na line. Okay? So, yung A natin is mag increment So, magiging 3. So, yan. Now, nung naging 3 na sa A, tatas ulit natin is 3 less than equal to 5. Again, this will be true again. Dahil true yung condition again, so test natin. Yung unang condition. So we have 3 less than equal to uh, 2. So 3 is not less than equal to 2. Whereas this will be false. So dahil nag-false yung condition nyo sa part na to, okay, kung makikita natin dito, we have else if. Okay, maghihanap siya ng ibang condition. Dahil nag-false tong part na to, so data natin. Okay, so nag-false tong part na to. So, ibig sabihin, hindi niya e-perform yung buong to. Okay, so it will look for another condition. Makikita niya itong another condition na ito. Check natin. In this part ba, magtutro yung condition? Okay, so tingnan natin. Now, in this case, so current value ni A is 3. Test natin dito. Ah. Lagay natin. Okay, so if 
uh, if a greater than 2. So, ayan. So, in this case, ito yung isang if. Test na natin. Current value ni a is 3. So, greater than 2. Is 3 greater than 2? So, obviously, so this will be true. And then, after that, then, nag-true yung condition. So, I perform niya itong scope na to. Ayan. So, itong uh, part na to. Okay? May encounter niya doon. Una, si C. Okay? So, we have your C. Current value ni C is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, we have uh, another condition. So, we have C less than equal to I. Okay? So, check natin. Current value ni C is 1. Current value ni I is equivalent to 3. So, ayan. So, check natin. So, less than equal 3. Okay? So, again, sa natin ako yung 1, sa natin ako yung 3. So, C natin, current value niya is 1. And then, we have your I. So, yung I, kung naalala nyo, yun yung unang dineclare natin kanina, which is 3. So, kinuha lang natin yung value niya. So, 1 less than equal 3. So, this will be true. So, dahil true yung condition, so, print down natin si C. So, ayan. Okay? So, current value ni C is 1. So, 1 and then a space after. So, let's have increment for C. So, we have 2. So, 2 less than equal 3 is equals to true again. So, dahil true yung condition, current value ni C is 2. So, print natin dito si 2. So, again, bakit dito? Kasi nga, we are using only print. Okay? So, this is within the line. Now, another increment for C. So, magiging 3. So, 3 less than equal 3. So, this will be true. Okay? So, again, current value ni uh, C is 3. So, we have here 3. And then, a space after. So, this will become 4. So, 4 less than equal 3. So, this will be false. Okay? So, dahil nag-false na yung condition natin kay C. So, ayan. Yung part na to, tapos na. Okay? So, kung makikita natin dito, it will have a decrement for uh, I. Okay? So, kung nakikita natin yung I natin kanina is 3. So, i-decrement down natin siya by 1. So, magiging 2 na lang to. Okay. So, ayan. Naging 2. And then, after that, mag-new line siya. So, bababa yung cursor no isang ipiprint natin na next. Okay. So, after that, yung A natin magi increment So, magiging 4. So, 4 less than equal 5. So, this is still true. And then, after that, so, pasok na naman siya within the condition. Okay? So, makikita nyo dito again. Tetes uli nyan. Itong una is 4 less than equal to. Okay? So, dahil false pa din yung condition. So, again, hindi niya uli perform yung part na yan. It will go for this condition. Okay? So, we have here 4. Okay? As current value ni A is 4 greater than 2. Okay, 4 is greater than 2, so which is true. Dahil true yung condition, so pasok tayo dito sa uh, C ulit. Okay? Again, dahil nag-false na yung condition niya dito, yung C mo balik na sa una. Okay, which is 1. Now, we have 1 as current value ni C, and then less than equal to I. Makikita mo yung I natin, which is nag-decrement kanina, naging 2 na lang. Okay, so in this case, 1 less than 2 is equals to true. So, dahil true again yung condition, so we need to print value of C which is equivalent to 1. Okay, so ayan. So, print natin si 1. So, 1 and then a space after. Okay, another increment for C. So, we have 2. So, 2 less than equal to. And then, this will be uh, true pa din. Okay, so dahil true yung condition, so we have your 2 and then a space after. So we have 3. So 3 less than equal 2. So in this case, this will be false. So again, dahil nag-false yung condition natin, so kung makikita natin, we have another decrement. Okay, so for i, so this will become 1. And then after that, mag-new line siya, yung next print natin, bababa yung cursor. Okay, 
a natin will increment to 5. So, 5 less than equal 5. So, this will be true pa din. And then, pasok ulit tayo dito. Test natin yung condition dito sa unang if. Okay? So, 5 less than equal 2. So, this will be false. So, dahil false again yung condition. So, dito sa pangalawang if siya pupunta. So, we have 5. So, 5 greater than 2. So, again, this will be true pa din. Now, after that, so again, makikita uli natin si C, which is equivalent to 1. Now, tas uli natin is 1 less than equal to 1. Bakit 1 na lang? Kasi nga, yung I natin will be 1 na lang. Kasi nag-decrement uli tayo by 1 kanina. So, 1 less than equal 1, they are equal. So, this will be true. And then, print natin si C. So, current value niya is 1 uli. So, this will be 1. And then, a space after. So, it will increment to 2. So, 2 less than equal to 2. So, this will be, ah, to 1 rather. So, this will be false. So, dahil false yung condition. So, again, uh, uh, we'll be having a decrement for i. So, mag-decrement pa yan. So, magiging 0 yan. And then, after that, so, yung a natin, so, mag increment yan. So, it will be 6. Ayan. So, 6 uh, less than equal 5. So, in this case, so this will be false. So, true that. So, stop na yung code natin. Dahil nag-false na yung A natin. So, this will be the final output. Okay. So, this will be the simulation for uh, this code.